And what I like here... We're good. I'm working on them. ...is Kyle Busch showing patience. Exactly. But he's got enough lead that uh, this... I, and you know what else? Probably tired. And here comes Tony. <laughs> Tony's passed Greg Biffle for second. Yeah, I could see Tony was catching Biff back there. Darrell, I dare say there won't be a driver out there that does not wore out after today. <laughs> I'm telling you. Coming to the white flag. Plenty of got a good cushion. Kyle Busch has never had a top 10 finish at Atlanta. Boy, in I sprint don't... cup racing. Oh my gosh, get off the back of him, no. man. Uh-uh. Come on. Come on, guy. I don't know exactly what was going on there, but. Patience heck. Well. Coming to the checkers over here. That's a Toyota and a Toyota. I think I would have asked for a little help there if it had been me. That was Kyle Busch that said that coming to Kyle the checkers Bush. over here. For the first time in Sprint Cup racing since 1954. Come on, folks. Keep my hand. Four nameplates going to victory lane. Wild Thing wins. Yes. Kyle Busch okay. wins the Cobalt Tools 500. Good job, boy. And Good Tony job. Stewart, his teammate, they'll make it a 1-2 sweep. Dale Earnhardt Jr., third. Greg Biffle falls back to fourth, and Jeff Gordon comes home fifth. Congratulations, Addington. First one. Good job, buddy. Thanks, everybody. That is Steve Addington's first career Sprint Cup win as a crew chief. Great job. Look at that. Oh. It's one thing to think you can do it. It's something else when you know you can do it and then get it done. And that car's been capable of winning. All four races, really. Kyle Busch got his first victory in his rookie season. It came at California. That was 2004. His most recent victory was at Bristol last March. Oh, look out here. Look out here. Where are you going? <laughs> anywhere, anywhere he wants, oh, Darrell. Those tires are too hard to spin out. <laughs> Man, he was going fast. burning down the house. He's the youngest ever Sprint Cup driver to win in Atlanta. So why you got him? The 18 is back at Atlanta. Good job, boys. <laughs> Kyle Bush, you are the man, baby. You are the man. Love you, dude. You guys are awesome, Pierce Dodge. I love everybody here. Thank you. The man, Kyle Bush, youngest winner ever at Atlanta Motor Speedway. He's getting soaked in victory lane, and so is Christopher. I absolutely am, Mike Joy. After a thousand miles of racing here in Atlanta, Kyle Busch ends the weekend like he started it in victory lane. On Friday, it was a truck. Now, for the first time this year, for the first time for Toyota on a Sunday, you're in victory lane. That's amazing. Uh, you know, first off, before I lose all my thoughts, I got to thank Snickers, M&M's, Interstate Batteries, Toyota, and Camry. <laughs> This guy right here, Steve Addington, all these boys that have been on this 18 car from the beginning. And, you know, the 18's always been the always been the car to beat here at Atlanta for many, many years when this place was redone and with Bobby Labonte. And this means so much to come back here and do this. And May Carr coming up and giving me his congratulations just uh, really made that set in right. But uh, Joe Gibbs Racing back at home, everybody in the shop, engine shop. I went in and saw Mark this week because I wasn't too pleased with our motors here already. But uh, I guess we didn't need it today. We need more of handling through the corners. But... Uh, Still, I'm not laying down on you yet, buddy. You've got to keep going, but uh, overall, great day for Joe Gibbs Racing. He's talking about Mark Cronquist, their engine builder. It's time for Rowdy to get Rowdy in victory lane. He wins two of the three races in Atlanta. Matt Yoakum. Oh, 